Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing something that a lot of people have been wondering about which is what's better, a low ESR capacitor or an LC filter? And I do have ceramic capacitors on the way, these little, you know, that are connected in an array and all that kind of crazy stuff. So what we're going to be testing today is just, you know, the regular old standard LC filter that you could purchase basically from anywhere, especially on Banggood. This is where I got mine. And also a Rubicon where I also purchased on Banggood because some people said that they might be fake. So um, that's what we're going to be using for this test. However, later on, we're going to do a complete shootout with a bunch of different low ESR capacitors, normal caps, tantalum caps, just a bunch of things, voltage regulators, all kind of crazy stuff. I'm still preparing that video. However, I just want to answer this question today. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's talk about the setup that I'm going to be what I'm using is the uh, Hack RC uh, all-in-one flight controller here that we just tested yesterday. I've just been playing around a little bit with it a little bit more. I'm just applying that voltage spikes for it. And um, it's still coping pretty good. I will have an update video on that later on. I also got the Kakuta F4 uh, all-in-one flight controller V2. And it's like the combo with the ESCs. That'll be up next after this video, hopefully, uh, where we stress test the ESCs like we usually do noise testing. And we're also going to test the all-in-one flight controller. So right now, we're just going to do these two guys. So this is a Rubicon 470 microfarad, uh, 25 volt low ESR capacitor. And we're going to be taking it against the LC filter here. And um, it should be pretty interesting. I still haven't even tested it, so I really don't know what's, what the outcome is. So we're going to do this together right now. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some very bad, bad noise, which is, you know, almost impossible in the real world. It's going to be around a 16 volt amplitude, which means the 16 volts of noise going up and down. It's just going to be insane. So let's go ahead and prepare that right now. All right. All right, so everything's powered up. I'm going to just go ahead and install the low ESR. However, it's not going to be working just yet. And I still have not applied the noise just yet. All right. All right. So the low ESR is connected now and I can enable it via switch right there and it should give us a pretty good reading. So right now let's go ahead and zoom in and prepare the oscilloscope. All right, guys, so right now, as you can see here on the oscilloscope, we have a beautiful, nice flat line, which is give us a nice feed right there on the VTX feed. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to apply that very bad noise and see how the screen is going to end up looking as well as the oscilloscope reading. And as you can see, we have already started and this is just absolutely just terrible, terrible noise. Um, this is, you know, I don't know if anyone's ever gotten it this bad, but if you have, then please let me know what was your setup because this would be absolutely terrible. All right, so right now, as you can see on the oscilloscope, we have like around 16 volts of amplitude. That means, you know, this is basically turning into an AC current here. Um, usually noise you know, is between, you know, it jumps up and down around seven volts or so, but right now we're just jumping up and down around 16 volts. So that's just pretty insane. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to enable the low ESR capacitor and let's see what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and flip the switch. That is insane. That's just one 470 microfarad low ESR capacitor. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and test the LC filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disconnect the low ESR capacitor. And now what we're going to do is we are going to connect the LC filter here. So let me do that real quick. All right, guys. So now the LC filter is connected. I'm sorry. It's not a quick transition like we did with the low ESR capacitor. The screen looks nice. I can see some noise. It's not terrible. And I don't know how well you will see it on the screen here. But um, if you take a look at the oscilloscope, though, you can see some very nasty looking stuff, which is what we really don't want here. 
And I believe if we also just activated low ESR with that, you see that? That's the LC filter and a low ESR. The low ESR does work better alone than the LC filter. However, the LC filter will clear up your image, but a low ESR capacitor seems to be the absolute winner, no doubt. Look at these drops. This is just insane. Um, and yeah, so uh, the low ESR capacitors are pretty damn good. So I've also tested a little bit, but I'm not going to, I'm just giving you a little sneak preview. I have tested the uh, Panasonic versus Rubicons and they're about the same. Uh, there's really not, not much of a big difference at all. And um, I'll have that video upcoming later on where we do a complete shootout with all these guys. And um, I think it should be pretty, pretty interesting. Um, however, I'm going to leave a link to, you know, these LC filters that I used um, and the uh, low ESR capacitor here, which ones I ordered and I got it from Banggood. I'll leave a link down below and it will be in affiliate links. If you want to use that, that'd be super awesome. If not, you could just easily search on Banggood. Um, and well, that's it guys. So just stay tuned. We're going to be taking a look at the Kakute F4 all-in-one flight controller V2 as well as the new ESCs that come with it. And uh, we'll see how well that works out. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited and we're going to see if we could break it, break the OSD and see how well it performs and then go ahead and build it. So yeah, well, that's going to conclude it for this video guys. So the conclusion is a low ESR capacitor is a lot better than the LC filter, at least in our situation or in this case. And uh, it just seems to be the clear winner. However, I do have more LC filters on the way and more low ESR capacitors and some crazy expensive capacitors also. We'll also be taking a look at those and seeing does price really make a difference for us or not. And um, yeah, what we should stick to and what's the overall best solution for us. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys learned something. I really hope you guys enjoy this kind of stuff. I do have more of this coming along. And if you guys don't like it, just please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you don't like or just dislike the video. And if you guys liked it, please hit that thumbs up like that thumbs up button, and uh, it'll go a long way. And um, yeah, well, that's it, guys. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I uh, will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.